Bus bars are uh, a conductor that we use for high voltage applications that generally have a rectangular cross section. And that is uh, an alternative to traditional round wire applications that, that we have today. The bus bars really started its usage in a very tight space like inside of the battery pack. When you're connecting the higher voltage connection between these modules, typically in the beginning they were connected with round cables, but it takes up a lot of space. So if we can then flatten that conductor out, that can provide a, uh, a room, particularly like in the battery pack. So we can see up to around 70% additional uh, height reduction uh, if you go to a bus bar technology. Additionally, what you find is that because of the additional surface area, you actually get a, between a 10 to 15% thermal uh, improvement of performance using bus bars. What I like about it even more so than those other things is the ability to automate. We're able to take a bus bar that we can form with automation and we can weld it to the terminal all in a fully automated environment. You can imagine if you have a, a very long thick wire it's, it's very difficult to assemble into the vehicle with a robot but if you have a rigid bus bar you can actually place those into the the vehicle directly with robots. The key thing really is the connection system, the termination, the seal, and the connectors around those things. Uh, there are really no good automotive grade connection existing today, and they don't really have variety that covers the whole range, and we're trying to develop those right now. We can make bus bars that are rigid, we can make them semi-rigid, or flexible, and it depends on the application of what you need, uh, what the customer needs, or the vehicle. You can also use them uh, in applications where we use aluminum as opposed to copper. The use of aluminum in these applications can save weight by over 50%. Things that we can do to uh, improve the cost while also maintaining the functionality for our customer.